Well, good morning, my Nangu Maga, and welcome to today's episode of My P.I. Dream. Uh, we're not going to do a music video today. I'm just practicing. We have a Rotary Club uh, from Rotary Club Leap of South. It's every Thursday night. And normally, Ness and I are on the like the entertainment committee. They do things like sing-alongs. They do joke telling. It's a fellowship kind of a thing uh, to promote good spirit. And that's kind of what I'm working on right here. Uh, but today, again, it's not anything to do with playing the guitar. But it is about the build across the street from us. Uh, and today, they're removing the formwork, the, the formwork from that big pour, which I believe was the very last episode we did on our neighbor's uh, new home build series across the street. Well, let's go ahead and go over there and take a look at some of the form we're coming off and uh, maybe there's some tips up there when they're pulling it off that we can actually be able to present in today's episode. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Today's a pretty big day because as important as it is to pour all the concrete, doing things like we showed in earlier episodes, the big pour, taking the forms off and seeing the results of that big pour are just as exciting, if not more. Let's go ahead and take a look. Today's actually the day that they're removing some of the formwork. Uh, let's take a look at the ceilings up underneath, see what it's looking like. It's kind of noisy in here, but anyway, you can see this starting from the front of the garage. We're, we'll go throughout the house. And you can see the, the uncovered where they've dropped down some of the formwork there. Uh, let's go to an area that's got a lot of the a lot of the formwork down so you can get a better look. Now this is a testament when you look at the ceilings as to whether the uh, the quality of the pour was good or bad, you know, whether you see honeycombing, whether you see humps inside if they didn't have the proper support underneath the wood. Let's go ahead and look in this bedroom right here. Now that looks really good. Nice and level, nice and clean. I don't see any, any evidence of honeycombing. Very, very nice pour up there. Now it's, it's just a beehive of activity in here. And this is the kitchen area, and this is where the dining room is going to be. This is the ceiling over the dining room. And you can see they're slowly removing Slowly removing the formwork right now here. And we'll come back later on once they've removed all of this. And what we'll do is we'll look at it once all the scaffolding is out of the way too. see the rendering has started uh, on the inside not just on the outside they're working on the inside too so they're doing both inside and outside of the rendering the comments that I get are, are about the the hole penetrations in the ceiling or the slab for the roof and people have said they've had concerns with other projects where there had been leaking around these areas because that's going to be the most vulnerable area for any water that sits up on a roof that doesn't go through the drain or that possibly if the drain gets clogged and there's water setting on the top. But what we're gonna do later on, I'm gonna get with the contractor and we're going to talk about waterproofing that will prevent things like that. As long as your waterproofing is done correctly, then you won't have any problem. But what's nice about this, since the ceiling is gonna be dropped down, you have exposed pipes. If you ever need to do any type of maintenance, the pipes are enclosed inside the, the, uh, the ceiling enclosure which we'll get to that won't be until t very close to the end of the build so we'll uh, we'll address the waterproofing when we get to that as well because i know there's a lot of people who have concerns about making sure that your roof doesn't leak now we'll come back and revisit all of this inside the house once they get all the formwork and we'll take a look at all of the ceiling 
uh, from the inside. But before we go back and, and do some stuff over at Villa Feliz, uh, I want to just show you this retaining wall right here. And this is one of the things that always amazes me about the contractor that's working on this project right here. Uh, I want you to see the thickness of all of the rebar, or what they call biga over here, biga, uh, is, is the fact that just in the retaining wall portion right here, and it's a very small retaining wall, uh, the steps are going to be on this side and I imagine that's going to be backfilled in all inside there. But the, the contractor is using 20 millimeter rebar and that's really, that's really, really big rebar for, uh, for a retaining wall. I think normally you would probably see 12 at, at the maximum 16, which this is, looks like 16 right here that they're going to be using for the steps. And that's more than adequate for the steps that are going to be going down to the backyard. But to use 20, uh, that's going to be really strong with this right here. A little bit more expensive, but uh, you can be rest assured that they're not going to have any problems with this retaining wall or these steps in the years to come. All right, it's just several hours since we last traveled over here. Let's kind of look and see. What they're not done yet. I see they're still pulling lots of the scaffolding down. And, but it looks like to me that there's a lot of the formwork that is already down. Remember we started earlier here this morning in the garage area and you can see uh, there's still just a few pieces left inside here but most most of the roofing form formwork is, is down. Uh, we started this morning over here this is all down. You can see the exposed beams now uh, that go over to and there's just a couple more pieces that have on this side. Let's go ahead and go inside and take a look what on the main house and see what's done inside there. All right, and rendering still going on out here. The nice smooth rendering here. You can see all the dark stuff, which indicates it's still a little bit wet. Very, very nice. Uh, main, oh, look here. This morning we were looking way on the other side over there. Now they got this. Hey, guys. Wow. Looking good in here. Yeah. Look. All the beams exposed now, the main ceilings exposed. Uh, we looked in here this morning uh, and they're already doing rendering inside this room. Ceiling all done inside here, all the formwork in the guest bathroom here, it's down. Let's go back here, let's see what's... And Gerard's office, office space, all down. I think they're still working back here. Oh no. Uh, in the master bedroom. It's down also. There's just a few spots that are left and they're bringing down a lot of the scaffolding. Just a couple of places left. This, this here and then I think in a small area right on the other side. They still have that and they'll probably have it done by tomorrow. Tomorrow all this will be gone. Here on the outside where the dirty kitchen or the grill, the outdoor barbecue grill is, you can see the little overhang that they have here is going to be over the outdoor grill area here. It's also all of the formwork is removed here as well. It's nice and clean. Now I really like this rendering detail they got with this design. It's almost like a ZZ Top, a ZZ Top kind of a design over here. One of my favorite bands. And I went, you don't, we didn't really talk about this little area right here that goes up to the roof. Now this is going to have a, uh, a ladder. This is a ladder in this area right here that gives access to the roof space up there where we visited just the other day. Now I'm not really not sure what this little cutout that they didn't do the rendering here is for. We'll have to ask uh, either the contractor or the homeowners uh, what's going in this spot. Remember the other side of this wall is the garage. Okay, you gotta quit playing with the chess pieces. Let's got the tire. We gotta do some practicing for tonight's rotary. So, and I'm not gonna play you any <laughs> chess. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not playing you. Well, because <laughs> if we play together, I'll always beat you. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt. But she's too. She, she does always beat me. Anyway, so uh, let's do a quick. Let's do a quick. <laughs> Uh, get serious. We gotta get serious. You it's didn't only, even know that your only, king is dead. <laughs> I know. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, there goes my king. It's down. It's down. All right. No, this means <laughs> checkmate <laughs> against me. Okay. okay. Uh, we, seriously, we gotta do we gotta do a quick practice because uh, it's like two hours and uh, we have to come up with a song. So, want to do a Beatles tune? Okay. Let's go ahead and do Let's a Beatles go. tune. All right, let me get the other I have to practice, we'll practice first. All right. I do. Places I remember all my life. Oh, some have changed, some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. All these places have their moments. With lovers and friends, I still recall some are dead and some are living. I know I'll never lose affection for people and things that went before. I know I'll often stop and think about them. In my life, I loved you more. about it for today's episode. I think we're good to go for the uh, for the Rotor Club here <laughs> this evening. <laughs> now, we're going to close today's episode right here. This was just a bonus track, a bo little bonus <laughs> track that we put in today's episode of us just putting some music together. Because we keep it getting people that are asking, uh, can you add a little bit more music to to your videos? And no, we normally wouldn't do it on a home build series. We're doing it today uh, because it kind of, everything kind of went to uh, into place during this and I don't want to do a separate video just just for that. No, no that we just practice it today. Yeah, yeah, we just practice from, it. From the guitar to the it's second okay. voice. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, maybe we'll practice some more and actually put it in. Oh, and we're gonna have some more. I, I not Ness and I aren't just doing the guitar work together like this. We also have, uh, you know, if you've seen some of our previous videos, we do jamming sessions down in, in the basement. Uh, we have a very special video that's going to be coming up here pretty soon. Uh, I don't want to give it away. Uh, we have a special guest that's going to be coming and, and uh, doing some amazing things, I think, inside one of our upcoming videos. Uh, we had somebody drop by yesterday. Oh, uh, yes. Dro <laughs> drop by here yesterday, and he said, let's get together very soon, and we're going to do that. So look forward to that. <laughs> or not. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I hope it'll, hopefully it'll be good. Yeah, we, we have to do just a little bit more. Um, no, I, I, I don't say it. We, we have to polish. No, we don't have to polish anything. We don't have to polish anything. <laughs> we don't have to polish anything. <laughs> okay. We, we just have fun. Let's have fun. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna close from here. Uh, some new home build series updates as soon as we see something different going on over there, which will probably be in the next few days because the rendering on the inside of the house is going really quick. And uh, any little detail uh, that's new from what you're doing, we're gonna stay on top of that. So anyway, let's close. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right-hand side of your screen. 
uh, you'll be subscribed and if you ring that bell you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video so from right here in the beautiful Philippines you have a wonderful and blessed day If you enjoyed today's episode and you would like to see more just like these, just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects, how to, or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building, you'll find answers there as well.